Cecilia. Okay, so I'm going to start your reading. Um, I might get interrupted. My son is playing right here. So just a little heads up if he comes over and talks. Um, it's hard for me to concentrate when he does that. So I'll try to stay on um, course with it. I make my little notes. So if I'm looking down, that's why. Um, I did this reading. Um, it's where do I go from here spread. And then I am actually going to do another reading at the very end, which I will pause the video, do the reading, write my notes, and then redo, add to the video. So this video might be a little long. If you need to, I highly suggest grabbing a piece of paper and a pen if you want to take notes, or you could just pause it and do what you will. But that might help you to kind of keep track of where I'm going. I'm going to try to do this really fast. I have to get him dinner and um, in bed and that sort of thing pretty soon. So I'm going to try to do this really fast. So grab a pen and paper. I hope it all makes sense to you. Um, your question was regarding your home and buying a home. And I recently went through the home buying process and I kind of know what it takes and um, that sort of thing and the struggles that may arise when you try to buy a house. So um, I'm going to try to kind of distance myself on my personal experiences and what I actually get from um, what the cards are telling me and what spirits tell me and that sort of thing. So, so yeah, I will get started. Um, the first card that I am going to pull will represent where you are coming from. This will represent your past and what you went through as a kid possibly or maybe teenager or just recently basically. What has brought you to the point that you are now and why you want to buy a home. So the first card that I pulled for you is the Five of Pentacles. Now if you could see they are two bakers outside of a church and not literally that you are a baker but it could represent how how you came up to this situation that you've had some struggles basically. So let me go ahead and read my notes. Um, the Five of Pentacles, there's growing, growing up felt or feels financially unstable, like with your mom, um, but your mom did her best to provide. I don't know if at one point you guys were out on the streets, uh, maybe kind of staying with other family members, not necessarily having your own place. I know you did mention that that's what she wanted. She wanted her own home, um, but there are struggles and... It, it shows that you learned early on how hard it is to kind of succeed and you're seeking that s stability or your mother has been seeking that stability. Sorry, hold on one second. What do you want? Oh, I need the... The top one? No, I need the second The middle piece. one. There you go. So you're kind of seeking that stability that... um. Either she didn't have growing up, she might have been going through that growing up. That she didn't necessarily have something to call her own. I know you said that, but that's coming up in the cards. That I don't know if either one of you kind of had that sense of security that, oh, I don't have to move again. That this is my home and that sort of thing. And um, So it does come up in the reading. Pretty crazy. So the next card um, will represent where you are now, um, your emotions, or where you want to be, your goals, that sort of thing. So the card that I pulled for you for that is the world. Um, the world represents success, completion, prize, goal, goal reached, attainment. Now if you see the big circled wreath, hold on buddy, the wreath represents success. And I don't know where it is. Oh, buddy, let go. I think I know where it is. Um, usually... Okay, so this this card, this deck doesn't show it, but usually there's a snake that's eating itself. <laughs> it's, it's formed a circle, so I'm going to assume that that's what this is going to represent, the circle. It represents, um... Eternity. Um... This card brings up four seasons, spring, fall, winter, and summer, which represents a year, basically. And I know one of your questions was, when are you going to buy a house and that sort of thing? And I have to tell you, 
Buying a house is a long process, um, or it can be a long process. Um, I personally went through, I think, four different banks. Four different banks. I went through four or five different um, loan officers. At first, like, they would not return my calls. They didn't want to do my business. They didn't want to help at all. So eventually I got my sister involved, which she is a realtor. And what she did was help me kind of find a loan officer that was serious about helping me. Um, and I went through, like, three different realtors and... Long story short, it is a huge process and it can take a long time and it could it could feel like it's not working out and there's going to be times where you feel like, well crap, I'm done, I can't do this, this was a bad idea, I give up. Don't give up. If that's what you really want, you need to set your goals high and reach for the stars basically. So let me keep going on my notes. Um, celebration fulfillment could also represent a short-lived happiness followed by sadness might um, get the opportunity to buy but first prospect might not turn out doesn't mean the journey is over so like I was saying there's times in the home buying process where you feel like oh yeah that's the house that I want I'm gonna get it I'm gonna put it in my offer and then things just fall through or you go to apply for your pre-qualification letter and you feel like, oh yeah, I qualify for this much, da 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 but then you look at the housing market, it's changed and you can't really qualify for anything. There's going to be ups and downs and the first time that you go and reach for it, I feel like that there's going to be some letdowns that you are going to feel like, well crap, I, I really want to do this but it doesn't seem possible. Well, this says that it is possible if you keep working towards it. The next card is going to be the direction that you're headed. That would be the Nine of Rods reversed or Nine of Wands. Um, this talks about difficult times must be met with strength and determination. There's an air of caution. Issues will come up. Reserve your strength. You need to reserve your emotions and strength for when it's actually needed. So, I have a feeling, sorry I have an itch. <laughs> I have a feeling that there are going to be some struggles for you to attain your goal. Things are going to get in your way, maybe your credit is off, maybe um, the bank just says, you know, you have too much debt. There's going to be some things I see that are going to be coming in your way that's going to prevent you at first. But, but if that is what you really want, then don't let it stand in your way. Just work towards it. So you have this big pile of problems, put them on a big plate and just pick out which ones you could deal with right away. Like working on your credit. What can you do to work on your credit? What I had to do to work on my credit, I had to pay off one of my credit cards completely and then um, kind of just put my ducks in a row basically. So take this whole plate of all the problems and just take a little bit at a time and eventually that plate is going to be empty and that means you're going to earn your success in buying a house. So just take little baby steps at a time to kind of work towards your goal. And that's what this is saying that you have, you're going to have all these struggles that are going to come up and don't let that get you down. You need to reserve your strength, reserve your emotion. Do not get upset at first because it's a process. It's a long process or it can be a long process that if, if your credit isn't up isn't that good or if maybe you don't have enough down payment or what have you don't get upset at first just do what you have to do and get it done it might the world card talked about a year but I have a feeling that it might be a little more um, so just be patient and don't get too emotional don't get too attached to a certain property that you're looking at um, because you are you will be let down you will be let down I I found like two or three houses that I was in love with but I just did not qualify for um, so it's it's everything happens for a reason and you just need to work for the work 
work the steps, basically. Uh, okay, so the next card will represent the next step to take. Um, or the next thing that could happen that kind of helps you. Or what could happen next, basically. And I got the Two of Cups reversed. Hmm. So this talks about a friendship, loving relationship, both platonic and romantic. I don't know if you are seeing anybody right now, but it's talking about joining. You guys joining and coming together, pooling resources. Um, talks about signing of contracts. Signing of contracts. Ah! So pooling of resources. So when you are in a relationship or it could be a family member. I don't know if you're planning on getting a house with one of your family members, but that might be a, a suggestion if you needed a co-signer that you guys kind of pool your money together, pool your resources, um, put both you guys on the loan, that sort of thing. But it talks about signing contracts. But it could also mean you and a relationship, you and somebody that you have been seeing kind of be like, hey, we both want to buy a house, we're tired of renting, and uh, kind of pool your resources that way. So, um, recon reconciliation, setting, settling arguments to work towards the future. I don't know what kind of relationship you have with your ex or your son's dad or what have you, but it talks about reconciliation and working towards the future, kind of squashing old arguments basically and kind of helping each other kind of better both of your lives. It doesn't have to be romantically, but platonically with a friendship or just being being adults and working towards a common goal, but that comes up with this card. Okay, so the next card that I pulled for you will represent where you're going. This is Whoa. the Three of Rods or Wands reversed. Whoa. So with this card, there's completion of first phase, accomplishments, and satisfaction. Progress will be made, but there's much to do. Effort will be rewarded. So like I was saying before about certain things getting in your way, the more effort you put towards it, the better the outcome or better the chances of you getting rewarded, right? So if your credit is an issue, work on your credit. If you need to save up more money, save up more money. Do not let all this stuff overwhelm you and kind of bring you down. Uh, the next card is the obstacles. The seven of wands or rods. Stiff competition, rivalry, opposition. Okay, so the housing market is a very fast pace. Like when I first moved up to Washington, the housing market was probably the within the fifty to seventy five thousand dollar range, and when I finally moved up here and I started working on my credit and that sort of thing. It might have been a year or two. Like, it jumped probably a hundred thousand dollars more than what it was. So what I'm, what I'm saying is the housing market is really fast. When you go, when I was looking at houses, I was literally looking at a house and I went to go call my realtor or my realtor went to call the bank. And somebody had already put in an offer. So literally, like, right after I see it, it's taken. So competition, fast pace, um, courage and determination, and to keep your wits about you. So don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged if you don't get the exact thing that you want. And don't, don't settle. You don't have to settle. But don't get your hopes too high, but keep working towards your goal. So the final card is the summary card. This is the Queen of Rods. She is the perfect lady that manages house and home. It's a, the perfect blend of 
finances and home life. I think this is a really positive card to get at the very end of this reading that I feel like that you are ready to make this step and to kind of multitask and get things done to get to where you want to be. And I honestly think that that's where it's going to end up. Um, a year kind of seems about right. When I bought my house, it was about maybe six months. After I started the loan process, I want to say it was like between four and five months. But realistically, when I first moved up here, it was a year or two. And then after I started the loan process, it was about a half year until like I actually bought a house. So I think that's a realistic goal for you to kind of set one step at a time um, within the next year or so for you to, for you to <laughs> kind of get to get where you want to be is going to be about a year or so. Um, and obviously that's, that's if the bank and your finances are all lined up and that sort of thing. I, I think that's a realistic time frame for you. Now, I don't know personally what what kind of um, debt you have or that sort of thing, but, but yeah, a year seems about right. <laughs> or it feels about right. Come on, get down. No, I want to so, share. yeah, um, I am going to pause this video. I'm going to do... No, no, no. Uh, I want to I I, I show the video Okay, something. show the video something real quick. This is what I, I there. build of Legos and it's 16 bricks. Oh, uh, you counted them all? Mm-hmm. Okay, go on. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to shuffle my cards and do what's called a zodiac or a year spread. And it's going to, literally, it goes from month to month. It's 12 cards plus a 13th um, clerk. It's the final card. I'm not going to go through every single card because it, that would take forever. It would add, like, a whole hour to the time. But I'm going to try to see if the house and you buying kind of comes up and if it does come up how long it's going to be so let me pause the video and I will get back in just a second it's probably going to be like that to you so I will see you in just a second Whee! okay so I'm back I am really excited about this reading that I just did ah! okay so this reading is the zodiac reading it is a full year so it's going to start at january goes all the way through december could possibly go to the next month or Jan the next january or what have you but it is from january february march april may blah blah blah, blah. and that's what each card represents and what is going to happen in that month and that sort of thing and i am really 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 excited to be sharing this with you this is the first time i've done this spread and i am just super excited so, um, the first card that I pulled, now, uh, I'm not too sure when your mother passed, and I'm sorry to bring that up, but some of these cards kind of touch base on it because it is starting back in January, um, so I don't know if she passed recently, I don't remember exactly when you said she passed, but... Um, there's a few cards that touch base on that, and I will um, just read my notes and tell you what each card means. I'm going to go really fast. If you want to take notes, go ahead and grab your pen and pen, uh, paper now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go really fast. It's going to be maybe a few sentences on what the card represents, and then I'll kind of summarize on when I feel you're going to be getting your home. So the first card that I pulled for you... This is the death card. This card represents new beginnings. Okay, so this is going to be in January. What happened in January? New beginnings, death, ending, growth, and rebirth. So I don't know if your mom started getting sick in January or maybe if that's when she passed or maybe that's when she started feeling feeling bad. Um, let me pause the video and see what she wants. 
Okay, so I don't know if that's when she passed or if that's when she started to feel sick. And I know she was sick for a while, but I don't know if that's when she started going into the hospital more frequently. But it's talking about death and rebirth and that sort of thing. So that could also represent um, some stuff that kind of happened in your life that you were kind of moving past. Um, I don't know if you broke up your son's dad around that time or something changed and it created this new outlook basically that it was a rebirth so that's what happened in January uh, this one will represent February this is a daydreamer card so the seven of cups represents imagination daydreamer working towards goals so all of these little symbols mean something one is strength one is um one is security one is strength one is sexuality da, 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 da. so these are all different things that you were going on hold on this is cards are there here we go <laughs> So all of these things represent, and there are different things happening. This it feels like there was a lot of things happening in February that you were like kind of overwhelmed and didn't. You had a lot of decisions to make, and I don't know. There's like a lot of things happening in February that kind of lead up to you kind of stepping back and just kind of putting your walls up and. Um, I don't know. Sometimes cards just don't click with me. Let me know if any of this makes sense. Um, the next card will represent March, obviously. This is the Five of Cups reversed. The Five of Cups is regret over past actions, sorrow, something lost, something remains. Okay, did you lose your mom in March? I don't remember. I don't remember. But that keeps coming up that something has a, something was lost. But I don't know if you could see in the picture. So he is he this guy is crying over all the spilled water. All these cups are spilled, but he is too focused on that to realize that there is still something remain, something something to look forward to and that sort of thing. So he has suffered a loss, and I'm going to represent that towards your mother, that you have suffered this great loss in your life, but there is still something to work towards. And hello, you're working towards buying a house, and that would be so, so great for you to kind of do it in the memory of her, basically. So the next card is the star. Um, light after darkness, hope. So this is April. That's, that's this month, right? Light after dark, hope, inspiration, promise, and guidance. So you're having troubles with your mom and kind of sad and kind of stuck in this rut about how are you supposed to move on? You know, you went through all this traumatic experience with your mom passing and you kind of needed this this buying a home to kind of give you hope for the future basically and hello this is a hope card that's something to work towards and that's april that's this month and i don't i know you said you were talking about buying a house with your mom for the longest time and you've been saving up well hello that's something to work towards you know getting your mind off of that sort of stuff with your mom passing so that's awesome it's Kind of giving me goosebumps that that card came up in the reading right there. So the next card is the King of Wands, optimistic leader, um, enthusiastic salesman, gener generous spirited person. So I don't know if this is, so this is going to represent next month. And I don't know if maybe this represents your realtor or maybe a friend or family member helping you kind of guide you through the home buying process. But there's somebody that's going to come into the picture that's going to help you and be that kind of help kind of guidance on how to do this and that sounds like awesomeness to me let me pause this and see what you'd want okay so I'm back uh, I know that was only just a second in video but 
Um, okay, so the next card, let's see, the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles represents a fear of loss, holding on too tight, inhibiting future gain. So this is going to be month six. So that's January, March, April, May, June. June. You're going to be facing some kind of struggles of holding on too tight of, um, it's a fear of loss and you're kind of struggling with um, finances and how you should move forward and kind of fearing, okay, buying a house is a big step and there are some doubts and fears that come with buying a home and that's what I get from this card that you're going to get to a point where you're like, eee, do I really want to do this? And you're kind of holding on tight to your... Um, your mom passing and that sort of thing. So that's going to come up. Um, the next card is the Five of Wands. This will be July. Five of Wands, Petty Problems Delays Frustration. So in the previous reading that I did for you about buying your home, um, it talked about frustrations and delays and that sort of thing and keeping your wits about you. It's going to be a long process and do not get discouraged. If this is what you really want to do, if you want to work towards this, then you need to keep your wits about you and keep focused. And that's what's... In July, you're going to face those confrontations that's going to kind of make you feel like it's not possible. Right? Sorry about that. I had to help my son real quick. Okay, so the next card will be in August. So the Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is a practical, materialistic, yet generous person. Sets goals, wants for home. Okay. So there's going to get to a point where... this. Okay, so this card usually represents somebody that loves lavish, expensive items like you like to be surrounded by beautiful things right you want your home to be perfect and everything have it its place and the thing with this card you're it's going to get to a point when you're buying a house where you need to set realistic goals you might not be able to afford the perfect house in the perfect condition right so it's not settling, but if you, okay, you have to outweigh the pros and cons. So what's the pros of buying a new house? Yes, it's fully finished. You don't have to work on repairs, that sort of thing. But that house is going to be a lot more expensive. Probably something that you cannot afford. Realistically, you probably can't afford, right? So the other option is buying a fixer-upper. So fixer-uppers yeah, they need work and it's going to take a lot of time and probably money to fix it up. But with a fixer upper, you could actually make the house the way you want it to be. You could redo everything. You could take out walls and usually fixer uppers are within your price range. So that's what this card is talking about. In August, you're, that's going to be the time where you're going to be thinking of your realistic wants and needs in a house. So start making that list of what you want and need and kind of be realistic. What can you afford? And yeah, it might not be exactly what you want, but you can make it what you want. Like, like the house that I bought, I hate the front yard. I hate it. We have a huge fence, a gate in front, and you can't see the front of the house. And frankly, it's pretty ugly on the inside or on the, in the front in the front of the house is really ugly and I really want to take that fence down I want to make a beautiful rock wall and this sort of thing and I knew when I bought it that when I when I move in it's not gonna be perfect it's not gonna be exactly what I wanted like we redid our floors we took out the ugly linoleum and carpeting and we put down wood and it's it's a process so that's what that card is talking about that you know it this person likes to be surrounded by beautiful things, but you need to be practical. What can you afford and that sort of thing? And that's going to come up in August when you're actually looking at houses. So the next card is going to be the Eight of Wands. 
This is September. Positive time for action and adventure. Energy is high. So you're going to be looking at houses. August and um, September is going to be about the time that you're going to start, like, actually, the, the process is actually going to start unfolding. And that seems like roughly almost a year, right? So the next card is the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Wait. That's the wrong one. I'm going backwards, sorry. The Ten of Pentacles reversed. I don't know if you could actually see that. That is a beautiful scene. So what this card represents is the um, stable foundations laid down for future generations. If you could actually see in this picture, there's a house behind them. There's money. The coins or the pentacles represent money. There's generations. There's the there's the grandfather, the mom, and the son, right? This is this is the perfect image. This talks about in what is this? October? Come October, honey, it it sounds like things are actually going to start falling into place that you're going to get to a point where it's like yeah, this is actually possible, and it's talking about foundations are being laid for future generations. You buying a house, right? So the next card that I pulled is the sun, and the sun represents optimism, positive energy. So this is a really good card. You know, the net, the card before it is really good, laying down roots and kind of. So it looks like come November, you're gonna, things are gonna be great. So this is the final card in the spread, but I did pull two clarification cards. This is the ace, or the page of swords, sorry. The page equals messengers. Usually pages are messengers, youthful, intelligent, new, new beginnings. There's gonna be struggles to get there, it's a really long process, and it's going to feel like at some points that you want to give up, that it doesn't seem possible and that sort of thing. But if you could see, he is willing to put in the hard work, right? He looks like a badass. Yep. So this is a bright, cheery card, new beginnings. And I think come December, that's what that card is, it's going to be a new beginning. Okay, so this is one of the clarification cards. This is the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles represent financial matters on a firm foundation. Good prospects. The next clarification card. This is the Knight of Pentacles. Perseverance and attention to detail. So the key to success is found in perseverance and attention to detail. So if you want to reach this goal of owning your house and putting it as a dedication to your mother, that it's going to be hard work and it is never easy buying a home. It's kind of it's right up there with like the stress factor is right up there with losing a loved one. That's how much stress buying a home creates. So with everything, both of the readings, I get that by the end of the year, if this is truly what you want to do and you are ready um, to make this your next step in life, that anything is possible basically, but it's going to be hard work and the hard work and effort need to be put in to place and don't give up and I have a good feeling about it so yeah I hope this has helped if it makes sense let me know and I'll talk to you later bye